Hi, my name's Aaliyah. I'm a sophomore at LIU Global. And. Turn off your anime, Joey! Hi, my name's Aaliyah. I'm a sophomore at LIU. Oh my god, like all these. You guys are like leeches. Like, just let me introduce this. Oh, yeah. Hi, my name is Leah Grant, and I'm a sophomore at LAU Global. So sophomore year, second semester, you get to live in Florence, Italy. And I decided, hey, why don't I show you what my life is really like, you know? What food I eat, what classes I go to. That's mostly what the video is about. But I wanted to, you know, give you some information. So I hope you enjoy the video. I live across the biggest central market in Florence, so every morning these people set up their carts. Yeah, it could be a little busy and noisy, but you get really used to it after a while. This is Rena, my roommate. She also transferred from the Costa Rica Center to the Europe Center. When you come to Florence, you'll see a lot of um, change places. It has like a big red sign that says change, but like they have a pretty bad rate. And for five hundred dollars, they told me like three hundred and ten euros. Yeah, that. which is bad. not. That's not okay. trying to scam us. <laughs> class and basically we've been reading this book by this guy named David Graeber and then he's like this philosopher anarchist guy and he's talking about the concept of the phenomenon of bullshit jobs essentially that's his words not mine but it's basically like a job that the worker sees as useless and that yeah. if it was done away with society would not change at all so it's part of our economics class and we also have to write like a paper about the readings every week and so my focus was on concept of bullshit jobs but with like mental health it makes sense like what he's saying that like there are like a lot of jobs out in this world that that like people are like the superiors are too lazy to do but so they give away these jobs and while people are still getting paid for it they still feel miserable it's like yeah you're getting paid and stuff but like you're literally coming to work and you what you work like you barely work and like that leads to like people feeling miserable and confusion like they don't understand why they're feeling miserable because they have a job and i also talked about like how it could also be like embarrassment for these people to tell like their family or friends like you know like i'm feeling depressed or whatever and then, like with our gelato which is a staple of being a Cyron student in Italy because mm -hmm. girl ooh gelato yeah. so good we just got this for like two euros and fifty cents but there's a place by the school where you can get a cone for one euro so just be careful where you get your gelatos from because some places will charge you as much as ten euros yeah and me was, and Rita I'm gonna fight Rita because Rita said oh we should go to the piazza it's so pretty girl I'm like, I told her it was a hike no you didn't yes I did <laughs> So I'm gonna tell you guys, it's a hike. Okay. Come on, Rina. We can make it. Let's go. Up the stairs. I haven't seen you guys all day. Yeah, guys, this is our other roommate, Jeremy. Hi, guys. Jeremy. Jeremy. As Elias says it, Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy, fine. 
The E is so subtle that you barely hear it. Jeremy. What they call me in class? Timmy. Timmy. <laughs> Timothy. <laughs> Timothy. <laughs> Timothy. <laughs> I'm just collecting names. And this is Emma, our other roommate. being such a studious student. <laughs> I just wanted to record her doing homework just to show that yes, we do have homework yeah. in this school. Do we have homework in this yes. school? Do we have tests in this school? Yes. It, do we have tests in this school? Yes, it is a real school. It is a real university. seeing as we don't have a cafeteria. Therefore, the school takes um, a part of our tuition fees, our room and board, and allocates it to us as a stipend, and they partition it out to us weekly. As in, we have, what, 12 weeks in a semester, giving out 110 a week. So it's, it's roughly like $1,200 being given to us more like $1,300. $1,300 being given up to us at different times during the semester. See, I just wanted like a quick little simple explanation, but homeboy went into the mathematics. I feel like this is a good introduction for who Joey is. Except for when you go get the stipend, you have to go, please sir, may I have some more? Please sir, may I have some more? Or else we don't give it.